Happy Monday, everybody. Episode 202 coming at you, Monday morning quarterback. Leave for Knoxville this week. Uh, super excited. Um, Hudson gets to come to 410 Nationals next week, and my kids, if you ask them if they'd rather go to Disneyland or Knoxville, they would say Knoxville without thinking about it. They love Knoxville. They think it's amazing. Um, we're lucky that some great family friends have moved to Knoxville and have an awesome place for us to stay. Um, so super grateful for the Webbers. And um, yeah, I'll be going for 360 and 410, have the shock trailer there, kind of same position as last year, um, kind of kitty corner to the Scooter's Coffee. Thank you to Jamie Ball for letting us park the trailer there. Um, I'm usually there in the morning till just after lunch, dynoing and service and shocks, and then um, <clears throat> I will uh, head on into the racetrack. So uh, if you need anything, um, you can always text me or uh, DM me if you don't have... Um, my cell phone number, DM me on uh, Facebook or Instagram and I'll give you my cell phone number. Um, and uh, we're happy to uh, dyno your shocks for free and um, fix anything you need while we're there in Knoxville. So tonight's topic is air pressure. Uh, again, this one seems kind of simplistic as we're going down the wheels and uh, air pressure and tires next week's about grooving and siping but it's very important and i think a lot of folks don't necessarily think about all of the changes that um air pressure does so you know if the track's slowing down you're like i'm gonna take a little air out of the right rear they just know that's what you're supposed to do but they don't necessarily think about you know for every action there's a reaction and and the trickle down effect of what those changes make so this one was filmed in the shop hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be right back How's it going? We're back in the shop with another Tech uh, Monday Morning Quarterback segment. Today we're going to talk about air pressure. I know that seems like very uh, simple, um, you know, everybody's kind of got what air pressure they run, but you really need to dive down deep and think about all the things that air pressure affects. So uh, number one, when you're setting your air pressure, make sure you have a really good gauge. We have one of these intercomps. We also have a Joe's digital gauge. Both are great gauges. Make sure you're using a good reliable gauge uh, to check your air pressure because it's vital uh, to how your car handles. So a couple things to think about uh, and what air pressure um, changes are doing. So number one, when you look at the overall dynamics of your race car, this right rear tire is a spring, okay? Um, and how much air pressure you have in it is gonna determine the spring rate. So obviously, more air pressure, more spring rate. Uh, less air pressure, less spring rate. It's becoming more and more um, important. Um, you're starting to see some of your high level national touring sprint car teams actually have tire spring rating machines because what spring rate this tire is, is very important to the overall balance of your car. The other thing is the footprint of the tire. The more air pressure you run, the more uh, bubbled up it'll get in the middle to exaggerate it and the less footprint you're riding on. So as you decrease air pressure, the tire becomes flatter and you're riding on a larger footprint. Uh, the third thing is sidewall deflection. Uh, as we mentioned, as you decrease air pressure, you're decreasing spring rate, you're also going to have less pressure against the sidewall, you'll get more sidewall roll, um, which enhances side bite. And the fourth thing is stagger. So, um, you know, as you put more air in it, the tire's gonna be bigger. So, you never wanna get yourself into a situation where you're adjusting air pressure to get the right stagger. Like that's really a no-no. Um, so it's very important when you're doing your maintenance at the shop during the week that you know you have uh, left side tires or right side tires to get you all the different stagger options that you're gonna want uh, when you go to the racetrack. Cause you don't wanna get into a scenario where you're gonna run five pounds of air in your left rear tire, but you're running seven to get the stagger you want. Um, so keep those things in mind. Air pressure is super important, should be the last thing you check before the car goes on the racetrack and the first thing you check when it comes off the racetrack. So, so those four things that we talked about there are really important um, in what uh, air pressure changes do. So hopefully that helps give you a better grasp of when you're adding or removing air pressure, what it's doing to your race car. Um, greatly appreciate you tuning in. Please subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, and uh, hope to see you all uh, maybe at Knoxville or at a racetrack later this year.